Hey everyone, welcome back. Round Geek here. Now many of you still think that deleting the data from the drive or deleting from the recycle bin permanently delete the data and it so it cannot be recovered by anyone. Now this is a myth and for this I already created a video and many of you ask me that what is the proper way to delete the data permanently so that it cannot be recovered. Now before moving with the solution, let me give you an example. Let's say if you have a PC that is getting old or you have a hard drive that you want to replace with the SSD but your computer and the drive is cluttered with the bank account information, copies of your driver license, birth certificate and many other personal information like your videos and the pictures and before selling it, if you only delete the data by making a right click on it and choosing delete then deleting from the recycle bin or even using the shift plus delete key and if you are thinking that this data is permanently deleted, then you are wrong. These data can be easily recovered by anyone, even by the people whom you have sold your device or your hard drive. So it's always recommended that if you really have your important data or personal information that you want that should not be recovered by anyone, then you have to use a proper way to delete them permanently so that it cannot be recovered. But no need to worry guys as everything has a solution here. So what you have to keep in mind that the next time when you want to permanently delete the data so that it cannot be recovered, what you can do, I will be sharing a free tool here in the GitHub. The link will be in the description and it's called the Permanent Delete. So come to this GitHub page, click on Permanent Delete 0.6.2.exe and the file will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file here, accept the agreement, click on Next. Create a desktop shortcut, add perma delete to the send to folder. Yes, that's okay. So click on next, click on install and click on finish. And this will bring up this kind of dashboard here, perma delete. And it gives you some options, shared file, shared folder, settings and about perma delete. So if you want to know more about it, you can visit their website and read more about it. All right. Now in order to delete the data, what you can do? Let's say if I have an image here that I want to delete permanently and I want it's confidential and should not be recovered by any tool or by anyone. So what I can do here, I can click on shred file from this application. Then I have to locate to this location. So it's in my download. I know that. So I will select it. Click on open. All right. Next it asks you, are you sure you want to shred this file? NVIDIA logo that is uh, just an image I am taking as an example. Next it says number of passes. One is recommended. Number of passes means while recovering the data, what kind of passes you want to keep. The one is recommended, but if you want that there should be multiple attempt, then you can choose either 3, 5, 7 or 10. I would recommend you to go with 3 or even you can try with 1. Then you have to click on shred. And that's it. Now you'll find the data has been automatically deleted here. And this data is even deleted from the recycle bin. You won't find here. And even if anybody try to use any kind of third party tool in order to recover the data, it will not be able to recover it. All right. So this is the right way to delete your data permanently before selling your hard drive, before selling your laptop, or even if you want, if you wish that it cannot be viewed or it cannot be recovered by anyone, then choose this best method. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found the information useful. If yes, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.